Hi, this is Linda with LLB Vintage and Pretties, and it is a Friday. Not that Fridays mean a whole lot to me anymore because I'm retired. I don't have to go to the 9 to 5, which I am so grateful for. But yesterday, my husband and I went out, and we did some shopping, and we got some fun things for you to see today. So... What we got was this little Japanese, I believe this is a rice dish, and it has gold gilding on it, and also has a light shining through it, so let me fix that if I can. So, it's a, it's got this beautiful gold gilding around the edges. Whoa! Ugh. It didn't break. It's all good. Oh, scared me. And on the inside, it's just got really pretty yellow flowers, red tones, blues. It's a very pretty little piece. There is gold gilding along the top, and it is ruffled. Has cute little legs on it. And if you can see the writing... Again, this is Japanese. I don't read. So, anyway, I just wanted to show this to you. It's very thin, and you can see it through it fairly easily. The next thing we found was this goose or duck. I'm not sure which it is. And this is from Occupied Japan. That's where it was made. And he doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything wrong with him. And he looks like he is swimming in the water. Very pretty colors. This was hand painted. Here's the top. And then here's his little face. With his little beak. And his eyes are black. I don't know if you can see that. But yes, he was made in occupied Japan. And that's what that says here on the bottom. That I can read because it's in English. I also found this mug. There isn't any reason for me purchasing this mug. Other than I thought it was just a fun mug. And this is Grace Teaware. There's no cracks. And there are no chips. It's a pretty piece. It's it I don't know if it's so much pretty as it is just unusual. So that's our little mug we got. Then we got another teddy bear teapot. So it's got the two teddies on the front, the boy and the girl. And a little black cat down here. It's got the windows on it. And the ivy growing up the side of the house. It's got a fun little handle. And there's windows on the back. You know how icing, you put icing on a cake and you do the piping? That's what that reminds me of. There are a few places on this little teapot that I'm going to have to touch up. But that's okay. I don't have an issue with that. And there's the thatched roof. I don't think this has ever been used, although it is dirty, dusty on the inside. So I think this was sitting on someone's shelf for quite some time. And this was made in China in 1993. And I'm not sure 
what this word reads because I can't see it very well. So let's see if I can find it. I don't know if it says Sermanica or Lumanica or Lumica or what it says. But you'll only see it upside down because I haven't figured out how to fix that part yet. So I'm still learning how to do a lot of stuff for videos yet. So I thought this was just a cute little piece. And those of you that know me know I love my teapots. So let's put the little thatched roof back on. Then I found this really cute tin. And it's got little animals all over it. It's got giraffes and birds, elephants, beautiful flowers. And I wasn't sure whether to get this one or not. But I did. Just because I thought it was pretty and you could use this as a trinket dish on your bedside. I do not know where this was made or who made it. But it's a pretty piece. Pretty tin. It's in good shape. Very good shape. Now everything I'm showing you is not listed on my website or on my eBay yet, but it will be shortly. Then the other thing I found was this milk glass lamp, like a bedside lamp or you could put it in your kitchen and this does work. So you've got the flowers in the front and then there's nothing in the back. No design. And this sits on a marble slab. And this is very old, very vintage, and very scary to plug in. Because we plugged it in last night. And just to see if it works, it works. We unplugged it as fast as we could. I'm afraid about burning my house down. I don't know why. So anyway, this is a very nice piece. It does have the browns and greens on it. I believe that this might be brass, but hang on, let me get my magnets and let's see what it does. Because if it is a brass, it will not stick. So it does not stick. So this is definitely a brass. See the bottom. Can't get to the bottom too well. But the bottom does not take to a magnet either. So this is brass. Pretty little piece. Um, don't know when this was made. I do know that if you buy this, I strongly suggest putting a new plug on it. Or just use it as decoration, but not a light, until it's repaired. The other day, I went to the yard sale. And if you watched my previous videos, you know that I went to the yard sale. And you were there with me. And I saw this clothes and a lamp. And I had to get it. That's just all there was to that one. So I got this beautiful, beautiful closing lamp. And it does work. We plugged this in last night. We did take the lampshade off it. And it has its original finial. And the bottom of this lamp, it's got a, I don't know how many sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sides to it. So it's got a pretty base. It also has the holes here in the bottom. Now let's test this. So this is all brass. And that's how you can tell if you have brass items or not. Now unfortunately, it looks like this has been dropped at one time. 
don't know if you can see it because this area right here it looks like it got dropped and it kind of sunk it in a little bit but when you put a lampshade on it it won't be you won't you won't be able to see it but it's still a really pretty piece a lot of coloring yes just mostly flowers and decorations on it but I think it's it's gorgeous so I did get it for those of you that watched my last video about the yard sale I got the lamp and again we can tell this is a vintage because of the plug this lamp does work we plugged it in and unplugged it as fast as we could because there's an awful lot of bareness in here and it's broken and not safe so if you were to get this lamp you definitely need to replace the plug i don't do that type of work i know how to do it but i don't want to do it and the last piece that i picked up is this i don't know what kind of jar you would call it it's not a cookie jar because this is not to be used for any food products this is just to look at and say oh my that's pretty and yes it is it is gorgeous let's move the lamp just a little bit more move this lamp a little bit more so this piece was made in mexico the lid does come off that is not uh, missing paint there. It's just a tag. But it has beautiful coloring. It has uh, faux crazing on it. Done in blue, which makes it look very nice. You know, you could use this to put your kitchen utensil, utensils, ut utensils in it. But it is marked on the bottom that it is made in Mexico for decorative use only. So it's got the, I think this looks like a tomato right here. Let's see if I get the camera to move down. So I think that looks like a tomato. I'm not sure what that fruit is supposed to be. And then we've got cherries down here. Very nice piece. It is not chipped or cracked beautiful flowers on the outside. I love the handles. They're so fun. They're so curvy, curvaceous handles. So, you know, you can pick this up fairly easily. It is a little bit on the heavy side. I'm not sure what it weighs, but it is very pretty and it was not something I could resist. So I didn't. <laughs> But my husband just goes, what are you buying that for? And with his dementia, he doesn't realize I'm not buying stuff for us. That it's for resale. Okay, tonight is the global video. I don't know why I keep saying that. Global voodoo uh, live auction at 5.30 here in Arizona City or in Arizona. So come please join us. I might be putting something up for auction or I might just be watching tonight. I'm a little bit shy, so it's hard to tell what I'm going to do. I might just all of a sudden get a bug up my end to want to do it. So anyway, this is Linda with LLB Bookie... LLB Vintage and Pretties. Please like, comment, su subscribe, and share my videos. And a little update is that I have been asked to do accounting video for e-commerce sellers. So I'm going to be putting that together. Um, and I do believe that I'm going to 
name it uh, bookkeeping for e-commerce. And it's going to be very simple, very sweet. It's enough to get your taxes done at year end. We're going to talk about expenses and income and what goes in must come out. So, you know, in the window, out the door, or in the mouth and out the... Um, so anyway, you guys have a great Friday and have a day. I'll see you.